This t-shirt is not Hermes, and it's also not a cheap, crappy bootleg that you get on the streets of New York or whatever. No, this is the earliest ever Enfant Riche de Prime piece. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh, I'm, I'm well familiar with early ERD. I remember the, the Frozen Beauties t-shirt and the Nothing Special t-shirt. That's what people usually think of when they think of early ERD. No. This is from the very first capsule collection that Henry ever made for the brand, the earliest of the early pieces from Afari Chez Prime, and also one that got him some of his first infamy because it led to a cease and desist from Hermes themselves. So this is an incredibly, incredibly rare piece. Only a few of them were made. Henry was selling them himself on the streets of Paris. He didn't have a showroom or a shop or anything. This is a crazy rare crazy early piece from the very, very foundational origins of the brand. And I want to see if it holds some of the keys to understanding the brand as it stands today. But that's not all we've got. While we're on the subject of early ERD, I also have a beautiful, beautiful baseball cap here. I don't even want to give away all of its secrets because there's some sick stuff going on with that hat. Both early pieces, one very early, the earliest. And we've got it right here today. We're going to check out the details, then we're going to try them on, tell you how they feel and how they fit. I'm really curious because we've never had anything this old from ERD before. So let's dive in. So here are our pieces for today. The crazy early Hermes sweatshirt and then a slightly later like salmon pink red kind of baseball hat that has some really interesting stuff going on. So definitely stick around for that. But I think we have to start with the bootleg early sweatshirt here. And right off the bat, I think the first thing I want to say with this is I'm actually surprised that you don't see more fakes of these knocking around. And let me show you why. So obviously there's no branding or anything. You do get the early, early neck tags here, which is this massive like woven ERD patch that's just sewn down on all the sides fairly messily. And there are no care tags at all anywhere inside. The only branding is that neck tag. So uh, not to give anyone ideas, but the, the reppers out there would have a field day with this, especially because they're so rare and so expensive and so hard to find. But I'm glad they're not. I'm glad these continue to be rare and continue to be kind of under the radar. I don't know how hype this is. I don't know how much people want a ERD Hermes bootleg, but just this is a piece of history. This is one of the first garments that Henry Levy ever made when he launched this brand. And it's also incredibly rare because he got a cease and desist letter for making this piece. He couldn't keep selling them. Uh, it was a kind of badge of honor for him and got him a little infamy early on in his design career. So I, I don't know, without this piece, I, really, I don't know if ERD would be where it is today. That seems hyperbolic, but I think this was an important and undervalued, underrecognized step in the journey of the brand. Obviously, the design, pretty straightforward. It's the classic Hermes logo screen printed at the chest. And then the A in Paris is turned into an anarchy symbol in red. And then you've got these kind of crosses, almost like daggery looking crosses coming in very specifically at a diagonal, creating an X, essentially invisible X over the Hermes logo. So there is some, you know, to borrow a phrase, subversive design kind of hidden within this print right here. And it's a strong statement, right? This was Henry coming right off the bat to say, screw you, screw the luxury structures that exist right now. Uh, I'm going to take your logo. I'm going to do it in my way. And F you, if you don't like it, sue me. Send me a cease and desist, which they did, right? So it's kind of encapsulating that F you attitude from the earliest stages of the brand. And this is kind of the flip side to the other more famous early ERD stuff, which is the Le Rosé, uh, like prep school t-shirts. That was like the history, the, the preppiness, the upscale, the one percenter type thing. And then this is the fashion side, the luxury side, right? But talking a bit more specifically on this print, you can see it is very, very thick. You can almost, uh, 
in the print see the texture of the screen itself from the screen print within the print. And this is something that he ended up dialing in pretty quickly after this. Just to compare like with like, here's another much more recent sweatshirt here. And we can see that the print on this one, it is sitting on top, but it's not nearly as thick. And you can see the texture of the sweatshirt underneath coming through, whereas this is just like caked on in a way. And then the only other thing to talk about is the like material choice and the construction because there's interesting stuff here as well. One thing that Henry has clearly loved from day one, as we can now see, is a thick rib, you know? So for instance, at the collar here, that is a big boy rib. And they kept doing this in their long sleeves and sweatshirts for years afterwards. This exact same style is something that he's gone to again and again because not every sweatshirt has this. Some of you might say like, yeah, duh, that's just normal. But it is a choice, especially at the neckline for a crew neck like this. That's a specific thick rib right there. The inside is incredibly fleecy. So this is something that I think relatively quickly after this started turning into more of a terry cloth type of thing. But back then it was much more of that classic Abercrombie & Fitch fleece interior. And the construction, you have to admit, is much more pedestrian and kind of uh, entry level than what you'd see today from the brand. It is a very um, classic, just cut and sew sweatshirt style. Like the arms right here, pretty much straight down. And the seam is, you know, it's serviceable, you know? And you can especially see it down at the hem here. You see the way that it's creating these kind of like uh, bunches right here. That's because he's pulling it inwards into the ribbed hem here to create that cinched look. But if a brand, you know, like ERD were to do this today, it would be done, uh, I don't know, much more elegantly, I would say. Whereas this is just like, let's get this thing done. Let's make this thing have the silhouette I want and the bunchiness. That's just part of the deal. So I'm not saying it's bad by any means. I'm not mad about it. I've had a lot of things with this look and it does create an interesting cinch, but clearly these were the early days of ERD and it shows. Okay, and now we've got to talk about this hat because this one's actually sick. First, let's talk about the overarching concept that is shown through this front embroidery here in black. So what a kid I was. I remember practicing the violin in front of a roaring fire. My old man walked in. He was furious. We didn't have a fireplace. <laughs> get it? Get it? Read it again. You'll get it. This is taken from a piece by the cartoonist Richard Prince. Um, I guess a fairly famous one because the last time it sold that I could find, uh, it sold at Christie's for like $800,000. So a very well-liked one-panel cartoon, I would say. But this is a fairly floppy, as you can see, baseball cap. Really cool material, too. If you get in there, you can see it's got a kind of like pinpoint Oxfordy sort of material. Tons of venting all the way around. So you've got the embroidery at the front in black, and then you get around to the back, and you get ERD right there. So, you know, if you know, you know, you get a little bit of branding. And then it's not just a snapback. Much, much better, in my opinion. It is an adjustable back in this like patent leather which is so interesting. I've like never seen that before. First off, like metal buckle, love to see it. And then this super fuzzy, thick leather strap with this like coated, patenty, pigmented thing on the outward facing side. I love it. The other thing that the eagle-eyed among you may have noticed is there's some extra detailing here, which I think is really important and makes this one really interesting because most of the versions I've seen of this hat don't have this extra detailing, or maybe they fell off. But this one specifically has some lighter pieces here along the side of the brim. And even though this was still relatively early in the brand, fall, winter 17, I believe, uh, the level of detail in even these lighter things is so cool. So the easy thing to do would have just been to take apart Bic lighters, right? Wrong. These are branded with ERD and they say made in USA on them. How sick is that? I don't know what the material is. I would love it if they were like 925 silver. I kind of doubt that though. I'm thinking maybe like an aluminum or some sort of alloy. But they're also branded on the backside as well, although they have a bit more wear there, understandably so. 
And on the inside of the hat, there's no branding, no tags or anything. The only thing you get is the Made in USA tag, which you'll love to see. You know, Made in USA, always like it, especially ERD stuff has consistently primarily been made in the USA. But this shows that ERD themselves probably didn't manufacture this hat. This probably came from a vendor. Because like, here's an old Noah hat that I have, and it's got the same tag there. So I'm guessing there must be one pretty major uh, hat manufacturer that makes stuff in the USA that is supplying these brands, which again, makes sense. So I love these pieces. I love having these pieces. I like that it shows the evolution of the brand. If you look at some of my other videos where I talk about some of their newer stuff, looking at this much older stuff really shows the full path of the brand. And I think this one is incredibly wearable and I really like the design. And this one, just with how early it is, I wouldn't be surprised if this ends up in you know a museum show on Henry's work someday, because I really do think it's an important early, early touch point in the brand's history. It is crazy to see how much things have changed with ERD pieces, but also what has stayed the same, because there's some stuff that Henry really kept around from the earliest days of the brand, and that's so interesting to see. But now that we've checked out these details, we gotta actually put them on. Like, do these pieces from almost a decade ago still look good? Do they still feel good? What's the vibe? Let's see. I'm just gonna go buck wild with this fit. I'm gonna do something insane. I'm gonna put some crazy pieces together because why not? This is a wild piece and very interesting pieces. I don't usually wear pieces really like either of these, honestly, which I find really interesting. So I think we need uh, a pair of pants, a pair of shoes, and a piece of outerwear to fill out this fit. Uh, first on the pants, like I said, I'm gonna go buck wild. We're going graphics heavy here because we have these ERD all over print, kind of like workwear, Dickies style uh, work pants, dress pants. There's all these sorts of logos. It's like a, a plum color with this like brighter red print all over with all sorts of different graphics from ERD. They did a lot of different pieces with some of these prints throughout the season. I really like that on this piece, they put all of them together. And I think the color scheme works pretty damn well with this hat right here. Uh, for the shoes, we're also gonna go ERD. I know I use these a lot, but with this color scheme, like how could I not go with these zip up stomper boots, the front zips by Enfant J. Prime. These are literally my favorite piece of footwear and I wear them as often as I can and I think they'll work great here. And finally, the last thing we need is that piece of outerwear to tie all this together. And this is where I'm really not sure because we're gonna do the vetement Alpha Industries Bomber, reversible cut and sew piece, but we've got this like peach color, beige peach. Uh, I'm not sure if this will be the best one or if we should use the other side, the more straight up like lilac pink side, which I like never wear, but might work better with this color scheme. Uh, I don't know, let's see what happens. So let's get right into it. We've got to start with the pants because I, I just gotta get some pants on, clearly. These Enfant Riche de Prime work pants are so nice. I, I don't get enough chances to wear them. I just really love the variety of graphics that they've got going on. It creates a really striking look that really stands out to people when you wear them. Um, it's just a very like straight leg type of fit. It needs to be the right outfit for these to really work as far as the silhouette goes, but I think this might work out. And the quality on these is fantastic, like really nice, thick, solid workwear style pants with these like D rings at the waist, so sick. But next up, let's give me a little height boost here. Let's do the ERD zip up stomper boots. Uh, these, you can watch my past videos. I probably said enough about them, but the silhouette is perfect. The craft of these is insane. All the little details, the leather is top notch, the color, ugh. I love these things. But let's keep it right on moving along to the point of this video. First off, the Hermes bootleg sweatshirt. Uh, let's get this thing on and talk about it. It actually looks really nice when you put it on. You know what I mean? Like the fit is very good. It's a, a classic, like relaxed drop shoulder kind of fit. 
very classic, very like lazy, very easy, casual. It's, it's a really nice cut. The feel is so good too. Like it feels like a super worn in pair of sweatpants or something with the fleece on the inside. Like it reminds me of like a, a champion sweatshirt that you've maybe had for like 20 years. You know what I mean? Just that perfect worn in type of fleece feel. I also have to say, I really like how it cinches in at the waist and grabs me. It gives me a lot of options for styling and usually I don't like that, but I think it works surprisingly well here. I think because of the thick ribbed hem, it gives it um, a little bit more play there than most pieces like this. So I'm a fan. And moving right along, we'll throw on this hat. And now with both of these, I love that we're getting this old ERD. Like these are ERD origin pieces right here. Really gets to the heart of the brand and the history of the brand and their design. Now this hat is just a solid, solid baseball cap. It's got a nice, you know, floppy type of fabrication here. The leather strap at the back still is, I, I find that incredibly interesting. And you get the ERD embroidery at the back, the if you know you know thing. But I do think the best part of this hat is the, the lighter tips, the Bic like branded ERD lighter tips along the brim that completely makes this hat. But the feel is really good. The adjustability is really good. And it feels very broken in. Like it's, it's one of those hats that you really could wear all day, every day. And it feels easy. Really both this and the sweatshirt, they have an ease to them that I really enjoy. A lot of luxury items, they're like fussy. You know what I mean? You, they feel kind of uptight when you wear them. They make you kind of stand up a little straighter, make you a little worried like, oh, I'm wearing something so nice. But these, they're just easy. Okay, let's finish this off. Let's get the Vetmont Alpha Industries bomber on here. And this is just a crazy pick. Like if I were just going out, uh, this is probably not the piece of outerwear I would choose to finish this off. I, I think I'd choose something a little bit simpler to kind of tie the look together, but I wanted to just go all out here. Like this is the kind of fit now that I would put together if I was like going into New York City to be in one of those like TikToks where so people get stopped on the street like, yo, 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 your outfit's crazy. How much does it cost? And then I'd be there like, yo, these pants, 1200. Okay, these shoes, two grand. Okay, this sweatshirt, I don't know what they charge. You, it's worth what, like uh, 12, 1200. This necklace, 1200. This hat, 600. And then this bomber, 2000 you know what i mean and you got, got the, all the numbers popping up on screen you're with me you get it and i wasn't sure about this but the lighter side does look nice like it, it it brings it down a notch it's not calling too much attention to itself even though it is just from the, the silhouette and the style but i do really want to see uh what it looks like if we use the poppier more pink side so turning this to the reverse side and interesting really interesting now it's loud now it's in your face uh i really just like the versatility of this bomber it is so big you got to be really careful you need the right fit because you could just end up drowning in it and sometimes i do sometimes it's too much for me um but i think when you style it right this is a really cool piece that can bring looks together and this entire fit is just crazy so make sure you let me know uh, what you think of these. Like, has ERD gotten better? Do you miss how they were back when they were making pieces like these? Uh, let me know what you think. I'm so curious. I hope you enjoyed the not Hermes video. The Hermes. I, I like that Hermes thumbnail incoming. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and comment down below. Do all these things that help me in the YouTube algorithm and I'll see you next time.